Hey everyone, this is Brad Royball and this is a video for lab 2.5 for teals in this lab, which is called triangles of all kinds. We're going to be figuring out how we can take in user input. In this case, we're going to take in a series of numbers and check that input um, against several conditions. So the first thing I'm going to do, so you can see I have some stuff already set up on the screen. Um, one thing we're doing is we're basically going to ask a user for um, to give us three different length sides of a triangle. So you can see right here, I already have an ask block set up. So it's asking what's the length of the first side, and then it's waiting for the user to give some kind of input. Um, here, what I've done, and you can see right here on the left side of my screen where my mouse is, I've already set up three variables to um, take in this user input and assign it. Uh, this is really important because we want to check the different things that the users are inputting later. So I'm just gonna give you an example. If you don't know how to enter input, that's the basic sample of it right there. You just go to make a variable, click it, and you assign whatever names you want. In this case, I have A, B, and C. So what I'm gonna do is since I already have this ask and set block set up, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate what I have and set these up. So this first part of my code right here basically just asks the user for the three different sides. And I'm gonna set, I'm gonna change set to instead in the second part, take B as an input. And in the third part, I'm going to take C as an input. So I'm gonna assign A, B, and C to the first side. You can see there in the first prompt. And the second prompt, I'm changing it so that we're checking the second side. And the third prompt right here, I'm changing it so that we are looking at the third side as well. So the next part of this lab uh, is where we get a little bit tricky. We do something we haven't exactly done before is we're checking conditions against these variables. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with an if else block. Um, there's really only going to be two options here. That's why I'm using an if else. It's either it is a valid triangle. That's what we're trying to look for in the first part of our lab, um, or it isn't a valid triangle. So I'm going to take looks. I'm going to take a say block out. So I'm going to put one right there, put another one right here. I'm just going to give it the name. This is not a valid, excuse my poor spelling, triangle. I'm sorry, this is where we're going to want to look for a valid triangle. That's the way I'm setting this up. These lengths do not create a triangle. Um, so the next thing I want to do is actually check the sides that I have. So um, when you want to check multiple conditions for a single if statement, what you want to use is use an and or an or block. So this and block right here will check two different conditions. As you can see, I can go ahead and slide them to be different things depending on what I want. But the entire point of an and block is that if I want to check it inside of an if statement, in order for this if statement to pass, both these conditions have to equal true, right? So what I want to set up is something like this. So I'm taking a plus block and a greater than block, which I've both found right over here. And I'm gonna go to variables. And I'm gonna set them up so that when I add these two things together, when I add two things together, we test and see if they are greater than the other block. And then if I put this inside the and block, you can see we're checking this condition amongst this other one right here to see if this is true. And then we can go ahead and pass this if statement right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up with my sides. Again, as you'll read in the prompt, the point of a triangle is that any two sides are going to be greater than the third. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this and I'm gonna rearrange some of my letters right here. Put C right there, put B right there. I'm gonna rearrange these two. And you see now I'm checking for all three combinations of my sides that are greater than the third. So the idea is that we would put one right here and put another right here. And we would check these two conditions and this condition only passes if these two that I have set right here are true. Um, however, of course we wanna check all three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my conditions again. I'm going to pull this another and block right here. And I'm basically just gonna chain these and blocks together. So now it has to pass all three of these right here in order for this if condition to be true and the, for this uh, block right here, for this triangle that we give to be a valid triangle. So you can see I've already tested some scenarios by my values right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click it. It's gonna ask me for the first side, I'm going to go with three. So I'm going to put in three. Ask me for the length of my second side, I'm going to put in four. And you can see these values changing right there on the upper left of the stage. And then for the third length side, I'm going to press five. And you can see this is a valid triangle because all three of these conditions right here will be met. All three will be true. But if we do something different, 
So if I click play again, and I let's say if I give this um, two, four, and nine, we can see these links do not create a triangle because even though nine plus four, so if we do C plus B, is going to be greater than two, we know that you know let's take for example four and two, it is not going to be greater than nine. Um, and so that students is how you complete the first part of lab two point two point five and how we check multiple conditions using variables inside of an if statement.